Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Spring is less than a week away and I cannot, simply cannot contain my excitement. My birthday is the first day of spring. Daylight savings time hit us yesterday. It's getting sunnier outside, although it is still bitter cold here in South Carolina. It has just been so nice to have like longer, brighter, sunnier days. I am so over the dark, cold winter. I'm just, I'm so ready for spring. So I wanted to round up some of my spring essentials for you guys. I know some of you guys have spring break coming up. Um, I actually asked you guys what you were doing on my like Instagram stories poll today. And a ton of you guys are either like teachers or you have kids who are about to start spring break. So it's just a really exciting time. So everything I'm talking about is gonna be linked in the description bar below for you guys to shop along with hair, makeup, outfit details um and I do just have to like preface I'm so sorry if I'm like really out of breath the baby has not dropped yet and so anytime I, I like I mean honestly anytime I sit or stand but especially when I'm sitting it's a lot harder to breathe so I may sound like I've run a marathon but that is just in fact me trying to to just breathe so follow my husband and I on our vlog channel right here if you like more day-to-day -day content and let's go ahead and get started Okay, so I think I'm going to start out with like skincare beauty. I do have some like clothing stuff I want to talk about sort of, um, but I have my spring shoe video coming this week and you guys, that's my favorite video to film. It's y'all's favorite video like every spring. It's always one of my more popular ones. So if you really want to know the rundown on like all things shoes, make sure to click the subscribe button if you are new here or tap the bell to be notified when I upload if you um, are new or returning because that video, like I I do so much research that goes into that video but let's start out with beauty so first and foremost we have to start shaving our legs again I mean no one has to if you don't want to boo don't shave your legs but I have to start shaving my legs again because I love me some good clean smooth shaven legs I don't like shaving so I do use the Billy razor still this is I think year two that I have used Billy and I absolutely love it like cleanest closest shave ever I have told you guys before that I had like truly what I I felt like was chronic razor burn before using Billy and now that I have used this for two years I haven't had the first issue with razor burn so I of course always recommend because one it's affordable two it's a really clean shave but three it's on a subscription service and it's like nine dollars eight dollars or something and you can get the razor blades that's sent to your house so I haven't had to like run to the store and buy razor blades or be out or use my husband's or anything like that in two years so it's been really really nice to have a subscription service I do also use Billy's makeup wipes but point of the video today unfortunately I do like clean shaven legs and it's time to start shaving my legs again more on a regular basis <sighs> it's not fun something that I preach to the point that you guys are probably really sick of hearing it is to wear your sunscreen but I feel like I preach it so hard because I've always like worn sunscreen just being a redhead but I feel like I was so late to the game in my skin and like sun protection that now I'm just like you guys it's so important like there's a picture of Cam from Modern Family when he goes to the beach and I feel like that's me now because not because I'm a redhead and like don't want my skin to be tan or anything or not to burn but it's just so important to keep your skin safe from the sun so wear your sun sunscreen these are the two that I've been using a lot I have told you guys so I really like the Tula mineral magic oil free mineral sunscreen you can use code Mariah on anything for 15% off um, on Tula's website and I really like this one but I do prefer the dime wonder screen over this one I just do believe that's out of stock right now and I've been using this one to kind of get rid of it so that I can go solely to the dime wonder screen so you can't really go wrong with either I will link them both in the description bar but as far as my face and my neck go this is what I use every single day under my makeup because it's just so important to use your sunscreen and I actually saw a blogger post recently um, she said she had never used sunscreen under her makeup before and she was saying like but oh I've always used a foundation that has an SPF in it and then she posted a DM that um, I think it was an esthetician sent her that said that actually is not enough for your skin so you do still need to use sunscreen so if you're an esthetician you can correct me if I'm wrong on that that the sunscreen in actual foundation may not be enough for your skin um, but I think most of the time it's like SPF 15 so this one is SPF 30 and I believe the dime wonder screen is also SPF 30 so one of those two face snack 
and then chest and hands every day but I have really been liking this one for my hands now this one is a little bit more expensive but I do really like this one you don't need this sunscreen you can literally get any sunscreen you want but this is actually called hand screen from super goop it's an SPF 40 and the reason that I like this one is because it actually dries down almost like a lotion very very quickly and you don't realize it's on your hands so this time of year when I'm slathering myself up a lot more anywhere that like maybe exposed to the sun I'm going to wear sunscreen on so I'm gonna take this not just put it on my hands and my chest but also my shoulders my arms wherever and it dries down really really fast it feels really hydrating like a lotion and it doesn't have that same like sticky or even really smelly consistency that normal sunscreens do so that's up to each person this is a huge bottle of it and it's like the smallest amount covers so much so I wouldn't recommend like paying what you pay for a face sunscreen and putting it all over your body um just find a good sunscreen that you think dries down good enough but as far as one that's like also hydrating that's a sunscreen that dries down you can wear clothes over it and it's not sticky and you don't feel like you have a sunscreen on it's definitely this one from super goop now I do still like looking a little bit more tan I am a redhead so tan skin is not something I've always had if you ever see me looking tan honey you can oh my gosh bet your bottom dollar it is 100% fake like it can be washed off at any point in time if I just scrub hard enough in the shower because I have been self tanning now for three years I think it's about three three and a half years and I love it one because it means that I can avoid the sun and just having to like I personally am not someone who loves to lay out for long periods of time like I can do it but it's not my favorite thing but two it's just a lot safer to use a self tanner so this is actually a very clean one I've talked about it a ton here on my channel I will link the tan Lux one that I've been using as well lately I also like that one it's just a little bit more high-end um, a little bit goes a long way with that one but I heard a lot of good things about it and since it was a cleaner alternative I did want to try it and I do like it but this one has been like my favorite for the longest um, it's the beauty by earth self tanner this is rated either a zero or a one on the EWG website. So it's very, very clean and safe. Um, I do use sometimes the fair to medium, but most of the time, just because everyone around me gets super, super tan and I still look like Casper the Friendly Ghost because I'm a redhead, I do like the medium to dark uh, because I feel like it's not too dark. But this one is very, very hydrating. It You put it on, have to wait about eight hours, so I will apply it at nighttime and then go to bed. I've never had an issue with it transferring to my clothes my sheets or anything as long as I self tan like 20 to 30 minutes before I get in bed I'm usually good so I do really like this one this is my third bottle of this that I have um, and I just opened this one the other day so I do love a good self tanner because I do like to look tan especially this time of year when everyone else is more tan but it's just not natural because your girl is so pasty another product that I love this is a body product is the Tula take care and nourish advanced hydration body moisturizer this is so so good. I have actually reached the point in pregnancy where I put lotion on my belly in the morning and then a belly oil on at night just to make sure I'm always staying hydrated and so far so good. We are almost um, at the 36 week mark at least in his size like he's measuring like a 36 weeker. I'm 35 weeks not one stretch mark yet and I've told you guys before stretch marks to my family are like sand to the beach so I am shook even I think my mom's a little shook that I do not have any stretch marks yet. So I do say that has something to do with how hydrated I've kept my skin, how much water I've drank. Collagen also is good, but I keep my skin always hydrated. And I've been using the Tula um, Take Care and Nourish like body cream since it actually dropped. You can again use code Mariah for 15% off on Tula's website. If you buy this anywhere else, you can't use my code. Um, but it does give you 15% off and this is a banging body moisturizer. I actually think I included this in my January favorites or January must haves. Um, and then in February, I think it was out of stock. So it just came back in stock, but hydrating, smells good, feels good on the skin. Just, whew, it's real good y'all. Okay. Also two makeup products. So e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer has been a favorite of mine for many, many years. I actually wore this last May under my Estee Lauder when my younger brother got married. It was a very hot May day and I wanted to make sure that although Estee Lauder doesn't usually need a primer, I was like, you know what? I just want to give it a little extra oomph because it is hot outside. And sure enough, my makeup looked flawless all day. This is just truly one of not just like my favorite drugstore primer, but just a, my favorite primer 
primer period. I think it is one of the best and I actually keep this in my back stock as well so I never run out. Um, and this time of year I do have to use primers a little bit more just because I do kind of sweat a little bit more or you know just might be a little bit brighter and so I'll like have those little beads on my nose or whatever. Just a little bit of primer helps that foundation stick a little bit better and that is what I definitely need this time of year so I do start using this a little bit more and I love the e.l.f. Like I said it's not just my favorite drugstore primer it is my favorite primer period. It makes your pores shrink up to basically invisible. It's like it is magic. Maracuja lip oils I believe that's how you say that you guys I own now I think because I have some in two colors and then I have some limited edition Edition. I think I have eight of these separate colors. I shared it on my Instagram the other day, like a full picture of them. And that's not even with duplicates because this is the best lip product out there right now. So this is a very hydrating, it is like truly a lip oil. It hydrates your lips, but it's also a lip color. And I mean that, like this isn't one of those where you buy a different color and it looks slightly different. Like I put strawberry on today, the color strawberry, and it was way too red with this outfit. So this is the color bloom. I've actually been reaching for this one a ton. It is all I have on my lips today. And it's really pretty. It's just like a slight mauve tone, but they have tons and tons of colors. I also love rose. I love orchid is another pretty color. Um, and it's just really, really hydrating. It doesn't last, you know, eight, nine, 10 hours. It is a lip oil, but it's very hydrating. and does give your lips a little bit of shine and a little bit of nourishment in a time when it's a little bit brighter out. And I think we're all kind of, at least this time of year, I prefer less matte makeup and more like shimmer and shine just to kind of look a little bit more glowy in the spring and summertime. So that's like a great lip product for me. Now, sun protection, you guys, I, I really could make an entire video about it. Like I am so just, just protect your skin from the sun. So I did want to share two hats with you guys. If you are going to the beach, the lake, anywhere, any amount of time outside, if you're gardening outside, please put on a hat and protect your face, neck, and chest as much as you can. If you are a baseball hat girl, this Adidas one is really, really cute. Um, it is white and has just a black logo with nothing else on it. Very simple, very easy, um, and matches with a bunch of stuff. I love, oh, my hair. I have been loving baseball hats lately just because, again, like they protect your skin from the sun, but also they hide dirty hair days. So they're definitely a, like, a plus for me but sometimes I feel like the outfit's a little more dressy or I want a full sun hat so I bought this one from Amazon last year and I absolutely love it this is the only hat that was not a baseball hat that I took to Jamaica with me last summer it's the only hat I wore when we went to the lake because it is just stylish but very comfortable and it actually fits my big head a lot I can't remember if this one has sizes but I do know I have a large head and it actually fits which is shocking so what you can actually do if you like this hat but don't love the black. Um, when I went to the beach, I took a couple scarves and just like changed them out to kind of match my bikini. This scarf is from Amazon and I can't find it anywhere on Amazon. So I'll link a couple similar ones, but you could always like add a scarf to it to kind of change up the color, to match your bikini, to match your outfit, whatever you want. And it's just so, so cute and stylish. And again, like it's just not an average baseball hat. So step above, but it's still gonna give you that nice sun protection. And now I, I'm hesitant to say like clothes clothing because this isn't like there's I have like two articles of clothing but they're not really like outfits okay so the first is bike shorts I love bike shorts I actually have not always been a bike short girl I literally remember um I got my first pair of bike shorts I think it was last March it was either last March or last April but it was literally a year ago and I wore them for the first time and I was like wait why have I been denying the bike short trend what is wrong with me they are amazing so I have a pair from Spanx that I really love that was the first pair that I ever purchased I had um I have the faux leather and then just like a regular black those are a lot longer than some of the others I love them so much. I got a pair from Walmart, but I can't find the pair from Walmart anywhere on their website. So I will see. I'll keep diving and see if I can find them. They were, I remember like $8 or something. So if I can't find that exact pair, maybe I can find a similar pair from the same brand at Walmart. I will link those below for you guys, but don't feel like you have to spend a ton. I like the Spanx just because they do like suck you in, but of course they don't fit me this year. So um, the Walmart ones are a great affordable alternative to the Spanx, but the Lululemon bike shorts. They're the Ala 
design ones are where it's at and I actually started my pregnancy in these and I will finish my pregnancy in these. So they are the six inch inseam. I do like that with bike shorts now, especially we're seeing a lot more variation in length. I'm five foot nine and you can kind of really base what you want your legs to look like based on the length you get. And so the Spanx ones are the longest. I can't remember exactly what they are, um, but I know that these are like the six inch. So a lot shorter and I got these when I first found out I was pregnant and I got so just bloated and uncomfortable and I actually took this picture right here and I remember that was the first day my pants just didn't fit me comfortably. I was just bloated and I was only like nine or ten weeks pregnant. I remember this was the day we went to go tell my in-laws that we were having a boy. So it was like we were early pregnant and I was like I really like can't wear jeans right now and I looked it up and it was just like yeah you may be super bloated and I was so bloated and those were so comfortable and they stretched but didn't feel like they had actually like stretched the fabric out where I couldn't wear them again. So now here I am 35, 36 weeks pregnant and all belly, 100% huge baby. And they still fit me in the same size that I wore when I was nine weeks pregnant and just bloated. So I am wearing in the Lululemon Align bike shorts, whenever I wear these at the current moment, still wearing a six. So they have so much stretch to them, so much give. I just love them. And if you do want to invest in some, if I had to pick between Spanx and Lululemon, I'd probably say Lululemon. They are amazing. Also hydrate this time of year, but you guys have heard me talk about this water bottle like 45 million times. So something I really like to do, especially because I find that my arms are always cold, is I really like good pullovers or like flowy long sleeve tops. Actually like the one I'm wearing right now. This one is from Airy. Um, it's just comfortable. This one actually fits the bump, but I think this would be great into the spring and summertime. Um, again, just because my arms get cold and like, you know, places like black their air conditioning when the spring and summer hits and so you'll go into a restaurant and I'll be freezing cold so what I actually like to do is I like to pair my bike shorts with like an oversized pullover like this one so that is why I buy a ton of them and my favorite place to buy them from is American Eagle or Aerie like you really can't go wrong I have green white like one of my most popular ones that they don't sell anymore um, is from American Eagle last year I got this one like just a couple weeks ago I have it in this color I have it in blue like American Eagle just makes really good staple long sleeve pullovers and just like tops in general that are very high quality but still are at a decent price and you'll be able to wear them a bunch of different ways. Um, Free People is another good place that I can find some from but those are usually a lot more expensive. I like good pullovers this time of year or good just like long sleeve tops that will keep me warm but not make me sweat and my favorite place is usually American Eagle for those. Sandals on sandals on sandals. You guys, I have so many sandals for my video coming this this week so be on the lookout but I did want to share just like my top two I think you know definitely this time of year I will sometimes wear a pair of leggings and a pullover with sandals because it is warmer out we definitely can get away with wearing sandals but it's not super hot I just got these from Amazon recently and I shared them in I think my last Amazon video they are really comfortable now they are a lot thinner right here so if you have wide feet you cannot wear these um, I sized up half a size to a 10 and they fit perfect but I feel like because they have this leather bottom they are just a little bit more dressy than some of the others um, but these are actually at a very very good price so I love sandals this time of year and I always feel like you need a good pair of like nude sandals when it comes to springtime and summer um, so these are gonna be the pair that I wear a lot and if you're looking for you know something you can wear on spring break and spring breaks coming up I believe these are also on prime so good pair of nude sandals but if you like fun bright sandals and I'm gonna talk a lot about these in my video this week these are from Steve Madden and I love them so much now I know that Target has a pair that is similar but I cannot get them in my size at all my stores don't have them in my size my cat just came in here <laughs> it's just being super nosy uh, my stores don't have them in my size and they don't have the colors that I want online doesn't have it so I have not been able to try those out but I do know that Target has an option um, I'll link it below for you guys but I can't attest to the quality I haven't even been able to feel them in stores so they did make a ma'am can you you be nosy somewhere else I'm talking to my internet friends go be nosy somewhere else oh she's hung on the curtains now Allie okay I was talking to Allie what you guys I'm trying to film what is going on brief interruption from the fur babies but 
I love these from Steve Madden. These are the first pair of Steve Madden shoes that I have ever, and I got them on Nordstrom, and Nordstrom size chart does not fail me. So when they said size down half, I was like, what? And sure enough, I sized down half and they fit perfect. Now, I am not gonna lie to you, and I ain't gonna blow any smoke up your butt and tell you that these things are so uncomfortable when they come in. Like generally, Steve Madden sandals especially are comfortable straight out of the box. Like I really like to wear things and kind of like walk around in them and um, clean and stuff just to kind of like break them in at my house before I wear them out. Usually it takes like 20 minutes. It took me a while to break these things in and they were not the most comfortable in the meantime. I think it's just what they're made of. So do be aware that like these are not, you know, you're not gonna get them in and immediately be able to wear them for like six, eight hours or your feet will be crying. But once you do break them in, they are very comfortable, but I like the electric color of these. Like they have this color. I think they have like a neon green that's really fun as well. Um, so I'm all about the neons this year. I will link my spring trends video where I talk a lot about like the neons and stuff that I'm seeing lately and I'm loving it. So those are awesome sandals if you do like the neon, but beware, they are gonna take some time to break in. And then also sneakers because it is finally time time that we could walk outside again and I love it. Now it is still, like I said, bitter cold, but it's just the sun shines. And so I feel a lot warmer when I do take my daily walks outside. And I am a big, big fan of on clouds. These are my second pair of on clouds. The first pair didn't tear up. They just got really, really dirty from Orange Theory. Um, when I used to do Orange Theory, the rows, like when you would strap your feet into the row machines, that black would get over the top. And because the shoes were really light, it actually destroyed the gray. Um, and they just look really dirty and dingy now so in the Nordstrom sale I went ahead and picked up another pair of on clouds and these are my true size nine yep these are my true size nine and a half which is what I also wear in the other pair um, and they fit perfectly my whole family were all on cloud people they are just the best sneaker whether it's walking working out in a gym setting an outside setting like it does not matter they are amazing and my husband was a um, runner in high school and college and when I first like let him feel these he was like wow they're actually really lightweight to not be like specific for running shoes so he was very impressed with them you also need eye protection people who can walk outside without sunglasses on I'm like what's it like to be you like what's it like living on the edge I can't do that so I love this pair of key sunnies I thought for the longest time it was Quay. It is definitely not. It is key. So these are the Jezebel frames and I love these glasses. They are so flattering on so many different face shapes and I think they're just really comfortable to wear for a really long period of time too. They have a couple different frame colors, a couple different lens colors, um, but they did finally come back in stock. So if you want like a more classic pair of sunglasses, these are going to be good. But if you want an affordable pair that I think are really fun from Amazon, these! Look how fun these are. I know these are not everyone's cup of tea, but I always think it's fun when it's bikini season to wear, you know, a fun pair of glasses when you may not get to wear them at like a casual Tuesday, you know? Also, I'm just gonna sit here for a moment of silence and just be sad that I am about to give birth and literally within like three weeks of giving birth, bikini season officially starts. Oh my gosh, the timing is horrible for bikini season, but definitely I have some bikinis linked from Amazon that are so cute. Bikinis that I have, I just will probably never be able to wear again or will not look good in this coming summer. I have them linked on my Amazon storefront. I have that linked in the description bar below, but I'll link like the 2022 swimwear for you guys. If you just like want to get a really cute bikini that you found through my Amazon storefront and take a picture and send it to me through Instagram DMs, like I want to live vicariously through you. I'm literally going to be like three weeks postpartum when people start pulling out their bikinis. And then the last product are hair clips. I've actually become quite the hair clip girl. I love my hair ties. I love my scrunchies. Like I love that stuff. But lately I've been all about the clips. So I got a little four pack, but these are the two that I've been loving the most from Amazon. They do come um, in a couple different color pack combos, but this one came with this nude, a pink, a black, and a green. And I just like these two because I feel like they match my closet the most. So I love these colors. And these are the two that I had on my um, dresser today, but I've 
been loving hair clips because one, it really doesn't mess up your hair. Like you can have your hair done like this. You can pull it up in a clip, pull it out of the way, you know, clean. If you get hot, whatever, you just want to pull your hair up. And then when you pull your hair down, it's actually going to look like this still. It's not going to be messed up. You're not going to have any kind of indention. Um, but I think also these are great. They don't give you headaches if you pull your hair bow too tight. And these hold my hair and I have a ton of hair. So clips are great just for like quick updos. Um, so I've really been loving these, but any clip you can't really go wrong with. I'm just glad that clips are back because I did not realize how much I love them and how like just easy they are and how much more stylish they can look than just a general hair bow with like little to no effort. Okay, and that is it for today's video. Lots of spring essentials, but you guys, I'm so ready for the spring weather. I just can't even believe it. Like, like I said, like I know my birthday is the first day of March, so that obviously is always a really exciting thing. I will be 27 in just a few days, which is crazy, but I am so ready for spring. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here. Love you guys so much, and I hope that I see you in my next video.